of the first steps into this board, a very rough and ugly board, into something that looks a bit like this, which is a very smooth board with parallel faces, parallel edges, and smooth surfaces. It's extremely important that you're wearing your hard hat when you're in work area, that you have your safety glasses, that you have your work boots on, that your work boots are tied up, and that your uh, pants are outside your work boots. Perfect. Yes, we want to have clothing that is tight fit, no loose objects. We don't want necklaces or bracelets or anything hanging out that could be caught in the tool. We don't want to have our keys hanging out like this, so we want to make sure that they're stuck in our pocket so that there's no anything. How does it work? Well, on the tool, we have what we call the outfeed table, the infeed table, That's the guard, and if I move the guard out of the way, we have the cutting head. So this is the cutting head. These are knives, sharp, sharp knives that you can cut yourself on if you were to run your hand along there. These knives are the things that when this is turning like this, takes the fence has to be at 90 degrees to the table surface. The outfeed table by definition is set at the same height as the maximum height of the knife. The infeed table we can adjust in order to determine the depth of cut. So if I actually move the infeed table down like this, and I'm doing it quite aggressively, I can see that my infeed table is going down, down, down. So this difference between the height of this and the height of this is the amount of cut that we're going to take off of the board. This course is that when we're cutting uh, the face or a wide piece of wood, the difference between the outfeed table and the infeed table should be no more than 1 16th of an inch. And when we're doing the edge of the board, the difference between the outfeed table and the infeed table should be no more than 1 8th of an inch. How do we see that? We come over here and we take a look at this gauge right here. And we can see the adjustment right here. So now I'm going to go back up again. I'm down there around 3 16 and I'm going to raise this up by turning this adjustment. And as, I can, as I'm doing this, I'm changing it like this. And now we're down about 1 16. That's essentially the tool. We have the on switch and the off switch. And of course, we can adjust how much of the surface of the table is exposed by loosening and moving this. We can adjust this and we can adjust this. And we lock it in place after we're finished.